Hello city builders and welcome back to your daily CPI morning message. I have a, a fairly short message for you guys today um, and I'm going to begin with a quote from one of the most classic communist books or pamphlets ever written and that is the Communist Manifesto. This comes from section 4. It says, in short, the communists everywhere support every revolutionary movement against the existing social and political order of things. In all these movements, they bring to the front the property question. They labor everywhere for the union and agreement of the democratic parties of all countries. I want people to keep that quote in mind when they think about movements both domestic and international. I think of uh, Julius Malema and the economic freedom fighters in South Africa who have been gaining huge momentum for the last couple of years and how there's this accusation of white genocide against them to sort of play on racial prejudice to stop us from supporting them. But if you look at what they say, they're tough on crime, they're tough on violence, they, they want to get violent people out of the streets. I think about uh, Ibrahim Traore from Burkina Faso, who has, you know, sort of made it very clear that neo-colonialism will not continue in Burkina Faso. Um, and I also think of uh, Abdurrahman Tiani in Niger, who recently uh, took power along with the rest of the new junta in Nigeria. and. I think about how these movements, they are existing revolutionary movements against international capital, against the, the banking class. And these are the very same enemies that we have here at home. Here at home, we're fighting these very same people. We're just not doing it in a way that is as efficient as these people. The fact is, we need to get our act together here in the West. And that may seem like something that is not positive but negative like oh I'm doom and gloom about the fact that we don't have an effective communist presence here in the West that 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 our revolutionary movement is totally impotent but but no no that is where you should derive your greatest sense of optimism for the future that you and everyone around you gets to participate in building something larger than themselves like I said I want to keep it short and sweet this morning so, I have one final quote from you, or for you, apologies. And it is from the very first chapter of Xi Jinping's Governance of China. And he writes, or actually speaks, to the 18th Central Committee Politburo. He says, The people are the creators of history. They are the real heroes and the source of our strength. We are fully aware that the capabilities of any individual is limited, but as long as we unite as one, like a fortress, there is no difficulty we cannot overcome. One can only work for a limited period of time, but there is no limit to serving the people with dedication. Our responsibility is weightier than mountains, our task arduous in the road ahead long. We must always bear in mind what the people think and share weal and woe with them. And we must work together with them, diligently, for the public good and for the expectations of history and of the people. The people are the creators of history. I repeat again, they are the real heroes and the source of our strength. Your power, my power, the power of any other individual on this earth, it is tiny in comparison to the power of a unity that can be built. That same unity and agreement of all the democratic parties and movements of the world where communists, as Marx and Engels wrote so many years ago, should be bringing to the fore the question of property and the question of unifying. 
that is where we should be drawing our optimism from. At least that's where I draw my optimism from. And I hope that this morning message can do the same for you. It can bring you a sense of optimism. It can make you want to go out and do just that to build. Uh, and that's why we are city builders. So I hope you all have a, a wonderful morning, wonderful day. Go out and make history. Thank you.